So what's going on guys, Alberto6548 here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. This is going to be part 2 of episode 1, and I do aim to finish episode 1 in this video. I don't know how long it's going to take, but let's get right into it. So, if you remember, when we last left off, we were trying to find some um, nitroglycerin pills for Larry, because he had a heart attack. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. So we gotta try and find our best, find some pills for this dude right here. We talked to Lily and we gave her a little energy bar, and we also gave an energy bar to Clementine. Oh, oh the energy bars are here again. Maybe I just have to recollect them. So there's one there. And I think there should be a third one around here somewhere. I'll give one to Clementine. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. I took care of Clementine. So, I'll just try and find that third one. There it is. Give one to Lily and Larry. We'll give it's it to Lily. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh really sweet. Don't mention it. So she's help. she's grateful that she we just we... need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. So then we'll give the final one to it's not much, but here. these guys. For the boy. Oh thanks Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet Lee. Alright, so let's try and find these pills. I don't know if there's any steps we've got to do in order to get to them beforehand. Let's see what's through this door. Alive inside. Hmm. It's a nice little theme tune. Hmm. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh yeah, he he knew the people who worked here. I'm starting to get it. If you remember in the last episode, we saw a, a monster or zombie pinned down under some kind of wooden beam, and he had like a pharmaceut pharmaceutical work vest thing on. And he and his hairstyle had kind of the same as Leah at the top here, so I think he might have been related to him at some point. Hmm. See if we can move the desk. What's that? What's that? This was my dad's cane. Hmm. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Hmm. So that ain't no ordinary cane there. Eh? So let's see if we can move the desk now. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Hmm. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Um, what do your parents do? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? Let's just move this thing. What do your parents do? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. 
Hmm. Those are good jobs. My dad's What's Nigerian your job? As well. I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yeah, like that. How did she know that? You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Because they did. I hope not. It's just complicated. I wouldn't blame them. Hmm. Let's just say it's complicated. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, but keep that between us. I'm not a bad guy. He killed someone? Let's just say that. I got into one. some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Yeah, we need to get those pills as soon as possible. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Must be a splinter or something. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. You've got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage. Under the nail? Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip top shape. Hmm. Okay, well, it's not broken. So, let's try and find a medkit or something. Speak. Ah, oh, that's the first take it right there. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see Repeating if we can do dialogue. something about it. Ah uh, yes, we can put the band-aid on it. Cut covered up. Yes, please. I've had a l I've had some bad cuts. If you guys have had an oyster cut, they hurt really bad. I got one Lee? all the way along the side of my foot. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. I don't think they will. Lee. Uh, um, they'll find us, or I don't think they will. I asked you a question. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to but the other dude's got the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, I got a huge oyster cut on, right on the side of my right foot. Um, it ran from the side just below my, just below the side of my big toe and then all the way the, along the side to my heel, there was a lot of blood. And then I got another one on the same foot right underneath my little toe, where it's like bent over and covered up. So that one hurt as well, but not as bad as the first one. Let's see if there's anything in the drawer. Hmm, there's a remote. Search the drawer. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Hmm. See if it works. That's what I figured. I mean, at least at least it turns onto a little a slightly brighter screen. Take the photo. His family. Wait a second. Find anything? Just a family. 
to Thank follow you. the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> sure. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Um, I don't know. What's what it to you? Hmm. To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Callie will remember you trusted her. So it seems like at some point we have to let the group know who I really was. Because who I... What I did, what Lee did, it doesn't really matter anymore because this is a zombie apocalypse. But that can come in handy. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. So the keys are on the zombie. So we have to somehow get them. So let's hop out of Wanna here. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It doesn't seem like it was. Let's just be straight up. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Well, he did a bad thing. He wasn't a bad person, but he just did a bad thing. Alright, so we gotta go outside and get the zombie. Get the keys from the get zombie. Some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? So let's go and talk to Doug. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look let's around. Let's have a look around. Okay. So I think it's that zombie or monster pinned up. that one right there. Lee's that brother. Guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. You just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Mm. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Not too just long. Just a few right? seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Um, tools. Oh, there's a brick there. Um, maybe you can try the remotes to the TV store. See if that works. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. Mm. You can just do that? Well, I, I memorized how you all do the it. codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well uh, fucking uh, done, Doug. <laughs> all that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? But we don't hear anything. Maybe if we throw the brick at the window. I got a few of them to take notice. Mm hmm. They can faintly hear it, but they're. But not enough. Yeah, not enough. We need to. We need it to be louder. I can't reach that brick. The remote with the lock was. I've got to do. Open sesame. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal. It sure was. Not that universal. I know, Doug. So let's open the door. 
You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. But we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Um, what else can we do? So, it seems like the padlock is lost. No one knows the combination. The only other way I see is to use the brick. So you can't that. reach that brick. You can't reach the brick. Look at Lee's brother. Look at boarded up windows. Talk to Doug. How did you end up here? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. <laughs> no, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Yeah. I grew up here, I know some folks here, it just, I just ended up here. I say... I know some folks here. Uh, Seems like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. So we need to somehow get... That sounds to be louder. TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Yeah, so the glass has to be shattered in order for the zombies to be tall. Be lured towards it. Look at the hardware. Did you guys right? try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. A few Look seconds of searching him, we'll know if he has the keys. So, how are we going to get out here? There's no point going back inside yet, because we know that this dude's got the keys. We need to figure out how to get that thing... How to get more noise coming from that um, electronic warehouse. I assume we use the key, but it says we can't reach it. I can't reach that brick. Can we ask Dada Ducky if he can reach it? Look it's at a combination it. lock. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. Hmm. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hmm. This is a tough one. What do we do? I can't reach that brick. Yeah, you can't reach it. Although it doesn't look too far. He Doug could probably reach it. Either of us either Doug or Lee could reach it, but I don't get it. So let's take a look around, see if there's anything else out here. So we know we gotta open that. We'll get the glass shattered to make the noise from the TVs to get the zombies staring at it to get them focused on it while we go and search for the keys on that dude, Lee's brother. Maybe if we go back inside, Let's head can, back inside. Okay. someone might not, might know the combination. Yeah, the brick doesn't look that far out, I don't get why he says he can't reach it. So let's see if anyone else knows the combination. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, oh. I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. 
Let mm. me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Mm. So we'll ask around first, see if any, anyone knows the combination, because we've got to get those keys. See, he's still reacting. So let's talk to Lily, see if she knows How's it. Doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Mm. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? You from here? What do you think about all of this? What do you think about what all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. You're from here. Sounds You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Nice. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. He's got a temper. Got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We got kids here. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. That wasn't what I was implying. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, so... Maybe Glenn might know it. He was there for a while, along with everyone else. Check the ATM. It's not damaged. Well, this place didn't get looted. So we'll probably find some money in there. Find some of that good stuff. Obviously Clementine will not know. Examine Looks like the nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Let's talk to Carly. We can do something with the remote. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Yeah, let's talk to her, see if she knows hey, the combo. Carly. You handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. The guy saved you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> ready you ready out? to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Let's go and help Glenn. I think that's his name. So this... Is the motor in? Shit. Get down! That was close. That was close. That was close.
was so close. It's good we have Carly with us. She's a good shot. She is a good shot. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Mm. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. So we gotta save whoever is you know, up in that top room there. Oh, there's an axe right there. I think I have to get that one way or another. Because that is going to be a real good weapon. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Peek for the wall. W. Peek to for too long and you'll be seen. I heard the heartbeat. Oh, that's a pillow. That could muffle the sound of the gunshot. It's like smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. So we can probably use the pillow and the gun. Where to next? That's all she's gonna say. We can probably make it over to the RV or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Let's try the truck first. That must be it. So let's go over to the truck. So there's two monsters up there. There was a zombie right there. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Let's see. Is there anything? Oh, there is. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. That's not an option, and glass, smashing the glass will definitely lure them towards us. Definitely attract attention. We can, we can kill him. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! I can hear the crying. Push the car, open the door, see if there's anything in there. Unlock the gear shift, anything else? There's a spark plug. So let's unlock the gear shift. Spark plug. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. I'm sure it will. You can push the car and then I'll kill that zombie. Got in. Awesome. <laughs> I think now we might be able to get that axe. Somehow. See if we can use this spark plug on the window, see if that works. Wait. Let 
me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, that wasn't big of a noise, but that still focused on the door. Yeah, we gotta get to her as soon as possible. Take the all. Oh. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. It seems like a really good weapon. So I think maybe let's head back over to this side. I can probably sneak around that other zombie that eating whatever it is. Let's see. So let's go over to the, uh, B maybe. We'll get some more cover. Okay, he doesn't see us. That's good. And the good thing that it's not... Oh! He's dealt with. He, I forgot. I forgot about in situations like that. What are the options? Okay, so we're gonna lure him, him over to us, and I'll wait for him to get closer. Down, dude. Lee, get him. Game's lagging a little bit. Nice. It's, it's going for, okay. for sure. I don't know if we can get the axe. Got him. Right through the head. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? So let's get the axe. That is a good two weapon. More. That should help. Only two left. you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. So there's two zombies to deal with. Only two left at this motor in. And then we can save it. Save whoever is in there. How are they not seeing me? Well, give me the prompts, give me the prompts. There we go. Oh, you're gonna end up the same way as your friend. Down you go. Rad. So there's someone in there. There's a plank nailed across it. Who the frick put that plank up? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Let's open the door. It's locked. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Here is it. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I Ow. said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Len. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Alright. Okay, we'll Okay, leave. we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just 
you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Either way, you're going to die. Give it to her, you can't have the gun. We need the ammo. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please! Whoa! Man, go. The gun's loose. Who's gonna get it? We gotta get it. Whoa, take it easy. We just wanna help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! She waited. She was going to die anyway, but... <laughs> Let's get out of here. She was a little crazy. And that. Shit. Here they come! We gotta go. Get in! And away we go. Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and. Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Hmm. Alright, so let's head back in there, because we know that the pills are behind that door. Not this door, but the other door. Again with the theme tune. So let's open this door. Using the axe, I guess. That could work. <coughs> door door. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. We could use the axe on the padlock. But we won't be able to lock it anymore. Let's go. So let's go and talk to Doug. Go outside and hopefully we should be able to use the axe on the padlock. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's yep. have a look around. Okay. Doug's a nice guy. Yeah, so we can use the axe on the padlock. Awesome. I thought that would have made a much louder noise. Carefully. We can use the brick. I Get can't reach that brick. So, open the gate latch quietly. Surely he would be able to fit his hand through that door. Now we can get the brick. It didn't seem too far away. Yep, I knew it. That will definitely draw attention. Yeah, that will definitely draw attention. Probably most of the zombies, maybe not all of them. It looks like it's drawn most of them. Now's the time. Yep, now's the time. We gotta go. Gotta get this done as quickly as possible. Gotta get over there. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Power may, may not be on forever, though. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna 
Yeah, they are. That's what kind of same hairstyle. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Sorry, I wasn't there. I shouldn't have left. I'm sorry, sorry. I wasn't there. I'm sorry, I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of what you want. That helped. So he's got to take care of his brother. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Which we I don't think we ever knew his name. <sighs> Or something B Everett. Uh, why not just go for the head? It's much easier. Oh, it's gonna be one and now he goes for the head. Look at that indent. not going to stay up, so I think things are going to get much worse in here. We gotta go. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yeah. That is all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. the key on the door. Still some business cards in there. Lily's following us. That's nice. Oh no. Shit. We gotta Damn. hurry. Yeah, we gotta be quick. That will be joining the walkers. Guess that's what I'm gonna call them now. Walkers. Yep, that is drawing every single monster. Zombie, whatever you want to call these enemies. Drawing every single one of them to us. She's got a screwdriver lodged in her shoulder. I think that dude laying down is fully gone, so he won't be rising up again. Just a lone one. Joining the others. Yeah. Time to go. I'm gonna get you your truck go. pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, Pretty dangerous chucking it to him. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Yeah, stay away from the windows. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug. We'll make it through. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Doug. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Uh, Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Give it time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. One of these events again. I, think I found something! Yes, the cave. Watch it through.
she's got she's got the ammo. Doug's a nice guy, but Carly's got a freaking gun. No! Get him off of me! Ah! Oh my god. Oh, it's that one who woke up. No! What the hell is wrong with this guy? What the hell? Oh, uh, me, you want to look behind you. I'm not letting somebody else Ooh. get eaten today. Especially Kenny a good friend. Oh, a good friend to Kenny. This place is overrun now. Dog is no longer with us. Clementine seems to be coping with all of this. Duck seems to be getting along well with Clem. Might be more survivors. Whether they're good or bad, I don't know. Alright. So, this looks like a point where we can just check in on everybody. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 9. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there, and I just can't really stay here down. knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. It really seems annoyed. Why though? I think that's one call. You gotta do what you gotta do. Find your friends. You gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do. do. what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. You too, Glenn. I can hear Duck talking in the background with Clementine. Seems like they're too, they too. It seems like they're getting along. Very quick to anger. He does not like Lee at all. So it looks like we can just maybe check it in over in the one and see hey how kid. they're doing. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, mm. we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did. Yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. True. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Huh. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Yeah, Kenny's a real nice guy. He's so nice. So there's a body of walkers over there. Or zombies, or whatever you want to call them. Anyone over here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we can talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. 
Mm. Happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that. She liked that him. I liked him. I'm sure he liked you too. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone. I think. I understand. Wait, Lee. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. You're a good help. I was going to help you both. I thought you needed the help. I thought you needed the help. Ah, there was no option that saying makes um, sense. There was no option to say. Like I was that. trying to say both. It was just something I did. I don't know why. Hmm. I just wish we both could have made it. You know. Me too, Carly. Same. Is Duck and Clementine talking? It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just mm. sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. Hmm. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Her dad tried to kill me. Yeah, she's, she's great. great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. Everyone. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. So three people know about Lee's true past. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Gunshots. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Mm. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, yeah, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Mm. Yeah, about the light. Hey, well, what did that? To be continued. Is that the end of the episode, or next time on The Walking Dead? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. So it seems like we would've been here for a while. I want while. you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? Hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Hmm. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. We're meeting a few new people in the next episode, it seems like.
seems like things might start getting pretty intense in the next episode. Ah, so we got some kind of table here. Honesty. Lie to Herschel. You win 63% of players were honest. So that's good. Who would you save? Duck or Sean? You win 49% of players chose Duck. So more people saved Sean. Loyalty. Sided with Kenny. You win 48% of players defended Kenny. Mercy. So Irene was the person who was bit and pleaded to have the gun. Gave Irene the gun. You and 55% of players refused the gun. Yeah, she seemed pretty crazy. In my opinion. Who would you save? Doug or Carly? You and 76% chose Carly. Yeah, I, cho I chose to save Carly because she had the gun and although Doug would be just as good to have saved as well, Carly is a very, very good shot with the gun. I'm not saying that Doug isn't. I didn't I didn't I haven't even see I didn't even see him, him use a weapon. Um the only times I saw him he was out with out with me watching the walkers, um and he didn't really kill anything. He was just like tagging along, didn't really do anything. Not anything violent at least, but yeah. Click to continue. Check out the voice actors, the characters. It's crazy to think how many people it takes to create a game or a movie. There's so many people. Zombie voices. Quite a lot. Music by Jared Emerson Johnson. Cast Lee Everett, Dave Noy, Clementine, Melissa Hutchinson, Glenn, Nick Herman, Lily, Nikki Rapp. So many. <laughs> it comes from the beginning. There's a bunch of focus testers as well. I don't know how long this credit seems it's going to go on for. Ah, they're thanking me. You see that? Can't tell pets. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, let's try to get at least 1,000 likes for the next part, although I, I will be playing it regardless, but let's try and hit, let's try and hit 1,000 likes at least for this video. Um, I do hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Although this is the only this is only the second episode. Um, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more gaming content like this. I do want to try and do more reactions in the future, but the problem is that I haven't been doing them lately is because um, I've had a new monitor for quite a while and it has no built-in webcam. I do still have my digital camera with me, um, but for some reasons, sometimes whenever I plug it into my computer, the, like the, what, what, would, what would you call it, like the file doesn't show up in Windows Explorer, like, you know, when you plug your phone in, your phone shows up, like the one for the, the one for the um, camera doesn't show up sometimes. It has shown up before, and I've still got videos on the camera that I have yet to put on, move to my computer. So, 
if was if I was to do reactions, I had to I would have to prop up my camera, record it, so it would just be my face cam, and then I have to sync it to the video that I was reacting to. I'll try that in the future. But anyway, stay tuned for the next part, and which will should be coming up pretty soon. Minecraft Part Two should be up next. It will either be Minecraft Part 2 or The Walking Dead Part 3. I do want to try and get this series done as soon as possible because in about a week's time I'm going to be resuming online classes. Um, because you probably, guys probably don't know but I am doing TAFE at the moment. Digital media which is basically video editing and audio editing. And I got the full Adobe program so you, sh you guys should also see more edited, properly edited content. Um, but yeah, that's enough blabbering on for now, and I'll see you guys in the next Walking Dead video. Goodbye, everyone.